Hello, I'm Roger Sheely, Rangeland Weed Ecologist with the Agricultural Research Service and the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center, and I'm here to present an Eastern Oregon Ag Minute. I'm not much of a fan of computers or the internet. To me, a hard drive is the one that I take into the hills in December to get a Christmas tree, but the truth is the internet has some pretty valuable things on it. This week, I'd like to suggest a few internet sites that might be worth checking out. The first is Cattle Facts. You can just Google Cattle Facts, F-A-X, and get it. This is a cattleman-ran website and weekly newsletter called The Update that gives up-to-date analysis of predicted future cattle markets based on the best data and their experience. It offers marketing tools, retained ownership analysis, and a cattle industry reference guide. It's better to base your decision on estimated cattle prices than just on past data. So check out Cattle Facts. My guess is that you'll like it. A few years ago, you probably heard that a million monkeys at a million keyboards could produce the complete work of Shakespeare. Now, thanks to the internet, we know that's not true. This week, I'm suggesting a few websites that seem to have real value for ranchers and other resource managers. The Experiment Station has been doing research for decades, and most of the information they developed is of very practical value. Try Googling EOARC for Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center. You'll find downloadable copies of the research articles about contemporary topics important to Eastern Oregon. You'll also find Excellent materials on revegetation, managing juniper, and invasive plant management. I think you'll find EOARC a very interesting site because the research is directly related to our area. As a weed guy, I particularly like the Weed Center website. The Weed Center site provides valuable information for rangeland management, including guidelines and science-based information on invasive plant management. The picture gallery is excellent. It also has grants available and attempts to create opportunities for CWMAs. If you spend some time looking around the Weed Center website, I think you'll find some very valuable information and maybe some money for weed management. Check this website out by typing Weed Center using Google. This week we're talking about websites that might be interesting and useful to you. But if you're not a computer geek, and I'm not, you're probably pretty reluctant to bother yourself with some computer time. But my guess is that if you don't like computers, you love fires, and the Hotspots Fire Project is a great website. Their coordinated program of research, training, and education initiatives has them working with landowners and fire managers. These Australians, uh, the ones who developed the site, say, quote, we're keen to discover how we can better manage fire to conserve native species and other natural assets as well as the lifestyles and land uses we value. Their site has very useful decision tools for fire management. With all the juniper and sagebrush country in the high desert that needs burned, this fire site may be really helpful. Surf your way to Hotspots Fire Project, and you'll be glad you did. And I've saved my favorite for last. You really need to check this one out. This is the Revegetation Equipment Catalog. It's a Texas A&M site that's excellent. The goal of the website is to promote the wise use and improvement of rangelands through the supporting functions of equipment development and application of innovative technology. In other words, all the cool new equipment for seeding is shown and discussed on this site. This site is so good that it won the Blue Ribbon Educational Website Award from the American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers. So be sure to check this one out by Googling Revegetation Equipment Catalog. I'm Roger Sheely. Have a great weekend surfing the Internet.